Brewers, Bucks Gas Garage, long time no see. Uh, we've got a little project today. I uh, had a little drama with the WB. It's uh, got a leaking heater core. So uh, what we'll do today, um, I've sourced a replacement heater core and we will put it in. Now this video goes from all HQ through to HZ and WB with non-air conditioning uh, heater core systems. So um, hope you enjoy. So what you can see has <clears throat> happened here, the bane of all HQ to WB owners is a wet passenger side floor. Uh, normally your first inkling that the heater core has failed. Um, and you can see under the dashboard here, when we peel back the uh, carpet slightly, you can see there that this is the back side of the heater box and also the heater tap there um, that we're leaking from the actual uh, heater core box uh, and fan box here. Um, now this one's been leaking a little bit on and off for the last five or six years, but I've just used a bit of Alumi seal to, you know, seal it up rather than replacing the heater core. Um, but you end up having this, you have a floor full of uh, coolant on the passenger side. Again, not good for, you know, rusting out floor pans, but I wasn't too worried because obviously this has a glycol inhibitor in the radiator, but uh, looks like at this stage she's is really let go so time for replacement so this is what we see from the under bonnet side here basically you've got your uh, heater fan here with a simple quick disconnect and your earth here also you have the two heater hoses that run into the heater core here uh, and then here we have the original uh, heater tap um, so basically the idea is just to unscrew, you've got um, various bolt heads there, uh, also some Phillips head screwdriver um, attachment there as well, and a little bit tight behind the valve covers there to get to, but um, not the hardest job, but I did notice there's nothing on YouTube uh, about replacing heater cores from HQ through to WB. So looking here, what we have, um, this was the only one I could source today being Sunday from Repco. It is an OEX HCX005 heater core. Um, and this is direct replacement for non-air car on cars from HQ to WB. So open up the box, not a lot to it. Um, now. So basically this is your heater core here which sits inside the firewall and connects to the two pipes here for your heater. So just looking at it there, uh, this one is copper um, as per the original. Um, you can buy from rare spares, they are a lot cheaper. They're aluminium, but the fit is not perfect. Um, and they're, you know, from rare spares, they're about $150. This was uh, $360 with the RACV discount, um, bringing it down to, I think it was, um, should be able to find the receipt here. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, the receipt. Yeah, it comes to uh, $310 uh, payable on that. So yeah, it pays to have your RACV discount if you've got that card with Repco. Um, anyway, let's get into it and start removing the heater core. Okay guys, um, here's the tools that we need to uh, probably use to remove the heater core. First up, we've got a uh, just a normal pair of pliers needle nose pliers, uh, small Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, I've got a 10 mil long socket there with a ratchet, uh, bigger screwdriver to deal with the heater hoses. Now, um, a 10 mil um, ring spanner uh, and it will fit, um, but the actual size 
of the nuts on the um, on the heater core is a 3 8 and also I've got a ringy there, a ratchet ringy for the harder ones down behind the tappet cover. So these are the basic tools. Obviously you will lose a bit of coolant uh, when you disconnect the heater hoses and so on. So just be aware of that. All right, so let's just disconnect the wires to start off with. Pretty simple to unplug. <clears throat> Get our large Phillips. Get rid of the earth here. Now that's what you don't want to do is uh, start dropping bolts down into the shed. All right, we'll get these uh, heater hoses off now. Could be a bit tight. They're all replaced when I bought the vehicle uh, over 10 years ago now, but she hasn't had a hell of a lot of use since then. We'll probably lose a bit of water here. First one off. Right. Yeah, we don't want to we want to leave these up as high as possible to keep the water in them. Take the second one off here. Always remember to reposition the actual hoses, probably in better positions than I have here. Um, not too bad, you can still access them here. So. <clears throat> So that's both hoses off at the moment. Probably no need to disconnect the wires at the, for the time being. Uh, that's for the heater control, the tap that's actually in the lines. And we'll just keep pulling screws out, hopefully this time now without <laughs> dropping them. Um, there's a couple down in behind here in various positions, nothing too hard to get at. It's just a matter of not dropping them. There's another one down here. Now this, uh, as far as I'm aware, is the original heater core of the vehicle, so <clears throat> this sealant will probably be all stuck um, to the firewall and so on. So we'll get to that when we get to it. Yeah, we've got uh, this one here, bit right down the bottom behind the valve cover here, which you won't be able to get a socket on. I've got the spanner on it. Um, at the moment, but it's definitely the most difficult of all the uh, bolts to get to, and hopefully it will loosen off to hand tight, and I can get it out from there. So if your uh, heater core's never been out, which by the looks of this one, I suggest it hasn't, you'll need to break the seal. Um, just gently do it. Obviously you've got 40 year old plastic um, that you're dealing with, so you obviously don't want to break it, but it will be sealed on fairly tight and you'll have to break it away in various parts as you can see we're just trying to get through that 40 year old sealant here without damaging the plastic see it's just coming away there just gently does it I think we have got 
all screws out at the moment. As you can see, the grommets are slipping forward on the, on the heater pipes. This gently does it. And they, uh, I think we're detached there now from the firewall and the old silicon. Obviously with the V8s this is a bit more difficult um, due to the tappet covers being slightly in the way. Certainly needed to come out as you'll see behind this there is a hell of a lot of leaves and junk in there um, so this has never ever been out this heater core it's definitely a genuine article but there we can see it's pretty much just that simple You've got um, a couple of little brackets here that um, hold it in, which we should be able to pull. And there we have it. That's the original heater core. And by the looks of it, that's where our leaks are there. We can see the bottom corner is corroded away. Um, yeah, the rest of it looks not too bad, but um, yeah, anyway, that's the source of our leak, which as you can see, leaks back through into the cabin. Anyway, let's, uh, I'll give it a clean out now, and then we will continue on. Right, so this is the two heater cores out side by side, obviously the OEM one. Looks like uh, the original OEM is a bit thicker in the heater core, that's one thing the WB doesn't um, starve for is heat in the cabin being such a small cabin heats up fairly quickly and so on so yeah looks like the hoses and everything will line up with the actual box but just um, showing you the actual heater core box just to show you where all the screws are on the underside which you couldn't see before so you've got uh, pretty much um, uh, four three eighths bolt heads along here then another self tapper here on this side on the firewall that's a phillips head screw there uh, and then the same up the top this one here is for the earth uh, and then basically we have the three eighths bolts across the top here but that just shows you the position just in case you're trying to pull on the heater box um, and you haven't got all the uh, screws and bolt heads out so that just gives you the idea of the position right oh now we just have to slip the back in behind this bracket here this one here and then obviously pull forward on the bracket we have here you can either use your fingers or whatever you want but that that's sitting in there pretty nicely slipped in there now um, can't see any issues with that. So now we try and get the cover and the grommets back over. Um, see how this goes. Just got to be obviously very careful of um, probably pulling the PVC pipe off would make life a little bit more, a little easier, I would have thought. Um, to slip this <clears throat> in but we will try first and see how we go whether we can get round these heater pipes there we go so 
Now we just have to line up the two pipes through the grommets. Aim to get the, the bottom one in possibly first. Not the easiest job to line both pipes up at the same time. Right, so that seems to have both of them lined up. And then we should be able to hopefully not leave the wires behind there for the heater and slide back if the new heater will allow onto our bolt heads. Quite fiddly. So if we keep pushing through, so there's a bit of gunk and things on these threads. Alrighty guys, uh, looks like we've pretty much got everything fitted back. You can feel there's still the tension of the original Celastic there. I didn't bother putting new Celastic there. I'll see how it goes. If it is a problem with you know a bit of ventilation into the cabin from the engine bay, I'll um, seal that afterwards, but no need to do it from there. So just a case of slipping the heater hoses back on at this point. <clears throat> Everything's in position, so it's pretty good. Um, as I say, just remember to keep those clamps in an area that's easily obtainable to get to with a Phillips head screwdriver or whatever else you're using at the time. Obviously, bottom hose on first. Let's check that tension. Slightly smaller, I think they might be. A... Yeah, we'll have to go for an eight for that one. Um, right, oh, no. let's let the other top pipe back on. slightly larger than the previous only marginally though and probably slip the hoses right up if you're using the old grommets like I am if your uh, heater hoses didn't come with a set of new grommets here slip them right up just again then it'll stop any you know petrol fumes or oil fumes uh, coming out of the engine bay all right Good and tight, as they say. Reconnect up the power for the blower motor and just check, make sure we've got um, blower motor action. 
As you can hear there, I've just tested the blower motor on all three speeds. Um, and everything is good there with the blower motor. Just tightening these um, heater hoses with an 8mm socket. A little bit more positive than a, than a um, Phillips head screwdriver. Just to get that little bit of tension, seeing it's a, a brand new core. These will probably need retensioning again. Uh, once some heat's got in there. Alright, well I think, um, obviously at this point I noticed we've lost bugger all water out of the heater hoses. We might kick her in the guts and, um, and see if we've got any leaks. cleaner there, just vibrating around a bit, obviously. Um, anyway, we'll uh, give her a little bit of time to warm up and... Right, oh, time for the elusive switch on. Right, we'll move uh, straight over to the hot side there. As you can see, blower motor all working correctly. Keep getting the blinker stalk in the way. Two, zero, all, yeah, all running well. Remains of coolant, which I'll have to clean out. It'll pop out now. in trusty crappy super cheap light <coughs> let's just have a look because we had water also on this side pouring out obviously it was dripping out that's um just there you can see the uh heater controls there for the heater box that opens the box but also opens the tap um but coolant was pouring down from just behind here as you can see the remnants of it there um, all looking good I can't see why a brand new heater core would leak but stranger things have happened all right guys well that's how you do it you don't have to take the glove box out and various people have mentioned that and no need to do that um, WB is all good other updates uh, since I've been away with all this COVID period, couldn't be bothered doing videos in COVID. Um, this is the, well, new, but getting old now. I've had it for a year and a half. This is the second uh, Navara SL I've had. Um, it was one of the last just before the new model Navara came out. It's got about uh, 20, 25,000 kilometers on the moment. Much the same as the other one. Sort of a special edition with the black wheels and other bits and pieces um, yeah but that's all good um, the Mustang yeah running running perfectly no problems with that it's just about to click over to zero again I think it's on 99,990 miles so just about to click over to zero the WB at the moment's on at 239,000 something just about to click over to 240 but uh, everything's good apart from obviously that heater core letting go this morning. So um, there is one other new car, obviously 
not here at the moment um, but uh, yeah we've replaced the territory with a um, oh, nearly brand new a demo uh, Toyota Kaluga um, 2021 model first registered 2022 so I'll bring that to you in further videos hope you've enjoyed um, as I say I've got a fairly strong mix of um, uh, new lawn in here at the moment so I'm not going to bother it's uh, sort of meant to be a 50-50 mix but there we go that probably used pretty much wouldn't be quite half a litre or anything like that so um, yeah just top up as required but doesn't need a big top up would be less than half a litre that went in just one other thing I picked up this um, Repco hand cleaner waterless gel and I must admit um, I didn't think it'd be much chop but I haven't got any water in my shed for cleanup it's bloody terrific so um, really good stuff you clean your hands uh, with it and just give them a wipe and all the grease oil all that sort of thing is gone so just a little plug to a good product thanks for watching and I uh, hope that gives you a bit of assistance if you've got an HQ to WB on changing your heater core and um, as I say I'll try and get a few more videos done now that hopefully COVID's on the way out but I said that uh, on the last video I think so um, anyway hope you enjoy and like and subscribe